What's up YouTube, it's Matt Wick here. So today what I'm going to do is kind of an application review slash how-to or tutorial. Um, so it's going to be on the things I've got on my desktop. So how to get these uh, things, drawers coming out uh, from the side uh, for my applications here. I've got a whole big dock uh, running applications, uh, drives and all that stuff to keep it a little bit clean uh, and stuff. And you also have a big trash icon here um, if I can catch it. Uh, also big, ah, sorry guys. There you go. So, um, a big uh, trash icon here, and you can actually drop stuff to the trash icon. So, this whole thing, everything included in this, uh, everything on my desktop is one application which is called DragThing. Um, so, DragThing.com, that link will be in the description too, right? So, you can just go to download and download it here, and you have some stuff. It actually got some awards and stuff, so it's quite a, well, a good application, and it's free, so that's really cool, because uh, it can do a lot of stuff. I mean, this is the application which most preferences and options I've ever seen. So, um, a few things. So to start off, these uh, things, windows or stuff, are called docs. Uh, these are called drawers. So just to so if I'm talking about doc, it's not the actual uh, Apple doc, but it's actually this. So uh, as I already mentioned, it's called the drag thing. So it's located in your dock and in your menu bar. But if it's located in your dock, it's not in your menu bar, and if it's in your menu bar, it's not in your dock. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through the preferences first, and then I'm gonna show you a few stuff uh, things. So right off the bat, when you download it, you've got a few pre-made docs. Uh, which are for your application uh, of your actual doc uh, and you have some other stuff as well but uh, in general you've got some hotspots so basically if you go to the corner of your screen it does actually an action so for me it's that way it's spaces and uh, that way is expose so you can set up a more hot hotspots here there so um, you can a lot of things to check there um, so then you have the appearance or appearance whatever uh, of your docs or the whole actually thing. Uh, you can set a theme for each uh, doc. So for each doc, you can set a different theme uh, to your liking. So yeah. Uh, so but this is just a general one. Uh, then you can get more themes. A lot of options here. Icons, text. Uh, then you have the docs. You have the process doc, which is this. Uh, the docs just in general. So you can highlight 32-bit applications, for example. Uh, the disk doc, which is this. So you can add network, desktop, trash. So as you can see, it becomes larger automatically. Um, so yeah, uh, items, you can, again, a lot of different options, really, really a lot of options. Uh, colors, you can customize everything uh, to your liking, um, so that's really handy. Um, textures, you can even put textures on there, sounds. So basically, when I do this, for example, uh, it does a little sound, or if I start an application, um, it also does a sound, or yeah, so things like that. Uh, so you can set up those sounds. Of course, it's just an option, so you don't uh, need test sounds. I got a lot of hotkeys you can set up. Uh, your trash icon here, you have a big trash icon, you can make it uh, smaller of course, but um, very nice uh, icon, you can just drag and drop there, uh, I've set up different icons here, but uh, so trash icon, uh, software update, and advanced, so what I've got here in advanced, which I changed is only a uh, high drag thing icon in the Apple dock, because actually you actually have an icon for it, um, but if you set that off, it's going to automatically relaunch the application. So again, now the uh, application is launched up again. So uh, I've got the hide. So as you can see, it's in the Apple Doc. So if you just check that, it's going to restart the application and it's going to uh, remove that icon because it's not really handy. You're never actually going to use it, the icon itself. So yeah, that's just for the main uh, preferences. So there are a lot of different preferences. So if you're on the drag thing application, as you see, I've got in my menu bar, you've got a few stuff here uh, you can do. So uh, first thing I'm going to show you is file, new doc, and then uh, default. So basically adding a new doc. So as you see, it's automatically going to pop up a new doc. Here. Um, so you can move it around. You have actually an enter uh, enter point here. You can see it moving uh, at the side of my screen. Uh, but you have a new dock. So for each dock you have, you actually can put uh, set up a lot of preferences. Again, different preferences. Um, so you can go through docs here, um, as you see. So right now I've got this dock. Uh, it's called Untitled. So of course you can give it a name. For example, um, apps or something like that. And you can of course change the size just by like that. Oops like that make it larger or make it thinner of course and you can also rotate the whole thing um, so yeah a lot of uh, options there so once you have the dock you can actually add layers in the actual dock again so even more docs so um, you can if I do add uh, add layer so I can add a new layer and again there are other options for the layers so I can call it um, video for example so then I can actually drag different stuff to video or to apps so if I just show you an example maybe uh, would be nice. Uh, let me just put this away for a second. Uh, so if I launch up some kind of uh, thing here, I can actually put uh, here a thing in video, and then if I go to the apps, it's something else. So I can put an app here, for example. This is really just an example. And uh, again, these are two different tabs um, for now. So I'll just keep these uh, those for example. So let me go back to the dock options. Um, 
So again, a lot of options here. You can choose size of the icon, spacing between them, show item names, or if you actually want the name every time or not, um, where do you want the tabs to be shown, uh, things like that. Uh, show window, so for example here you can have this at the left as well, uh, if you prefer, and stuff like that. Uh, appearance, so as I said already, you can use a custom dock for each uh, thing you have, so there are quite a lot of docks. Uh, we'll just choose this funny one here, just for an example. Uh, honestly, this is just a funky dock here, or goofy dock, whatever. Um, so that's for the appearance, a lot of uh, fonts, you can change a lot of stuff. A drawer, so you can actually make this a drawer, so if you drag it to the size you, uh, side you want it on your screen, uh, for example, here at this side, uh, and I make it show doc as a drawer, it's automatically going to put as a drawer at the side of my screen. So as you see, it automatically jumped to there. It's because here uh, I already have a doc, so it can fit in there, so that's why. But you can see it becomes a drawer, and there you go. So, and it re leaves the tabs. If you have different layers, it's going to actually show up the layers here. Uh, if, for example, this drawer, I don't have any layers, so it's not going to show up anything. It's just going to show a little thing here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if I can get this back up, oh yeah, there you go. Uh, so I'll don't put it as a draw for now, but that was just to show you that that is possible. So visibility, uh, you can choose a few things. You can even make it transparent. Uh, you can even make it so transparent that it actually becomes uh, invisible. So just the files, uh, which I did for my application doc. Um, so yeah, you can change that too. Uh, expose spaces, so you can set it to ignore spaces or show in all spaces. So you can set up a few to only show up in. Um, special spaces, so for example in spaces 1 you have different docs and spaces 2, so yeah you get that. Uh, hotkey for each doc you can set up and some few, uh, a lot of different options here as advanced. So again a lot of options, uh, as I said, uh, it's fully customizable, uh, quite a lot of themes. Um, my pref, uh, my favorite theme um, is uh, No Glass I think it's called, yeah, this one, I really like it because it's really minimalistic and if you give it some kind of uh, transparency it looks a little bit nicer, uh, so yeah. I like it something like around 65% of transparency. It looks quite nice. Uh, not too, not too big and still visible. So yeah, uh, you can a lot of different options. So you can set up all those uh, stuff, uh, all this different things. So let me just go to the app tab. App tab. So let me make this big, just just to show you an example. So actually, drag and dropping things in it, it's really easy. So let's say I want um, a few applications here. I've got. So I'm just gonna choose some random applications. So I want to add them to here. Uh, it's automatically going to add them, boom, drag and drop, and it's in, uh, as you see. So, really easy. Uh, once they're inside, you can still select multiple and move them all at the same size, uh, si all at the same time, or, uh, of course, you can move each individual one. Um, so, yeah, very easy to use here. You can move it all around everywhere, of course. Um, and, as well, really easy if I want, for example, this one in another tab, I just go with my mouse on the other tab and dro uh, drop it back here. So, you can just s switch uh, through tabs here. So, really easy. Um, so, as I've got it set up now, is, oh yeah, by the way, here once you have uh, done um, doc, you actually have to save it. So um, these, the process doc, uh, process doc, disk doc um, is automatically there, so you don't need to save them. Uh, you can, of course, remove them. And, oh yeah, for each doc, you can make it smaller. Uh, so for for this thing, it's already quite small, so you don't, there's not big use to actually make it smaller. But for this one, for example, um, you can actually make it smaller, and you actually have this icon. You can change all the icons, uh, everything. It's really fully customizable. Uh, you can change each individual icon as well. So you can close up the dock, so I'm not going to save it for now. Uh, so as I've got it set up here, is um, for this dock, I've got all my... This is actually one big dock. Uh, if I put the visibility on, you'll notice... So as you see, it's it's going all through my screen. It's even going through there. Uh, you actually don't see it because it's going all the way up to the side. Um, but you you can of course make it stop there. So if you just yeah, you can make it smaller if you do. Let me guess. I don't actually even know how to make it smaller. Oopsie daisies. Sorry about that. So if you games launch there, uh, so you can make it smaller. I think as well in the properties you can. Uh, I hope it's possible because otherwise it goes through. But I like it like this because you can just add really all the application to really the edge of your screen. So right now, uh, if you have all this with a lot of visibility on or transparency, uh, it looks not that nice because it's like everything. Your whole desktop is full. So I like to put this like uh, almost invisible. Um, so that it, I think it looks more organized. And you still have kind of all your applications quickly. You can launch them all. Uh, fairly quickly. So, uh, very nice here. Um, so, that's how I got it set up on my games here. You can, of course, move those around. And whenever I have a good application I use often, I just drag and drop it in there. Uh, so, I don't need anything in my desktop. Uh, I do have camouflage on. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, you might have the icons of your desktop and then as well the docs, which can be quite annoying because it's confusing. So, I use an application called camouflage. I'll put the link in the description to write to hide those. Really easy. Just set up a keystroke. I use it all the time in all my videos. So, you probably already know it. Uh, so, that's it for this application review, the how-to how -to tutorial. Um, so, I know a lot of guys ask me that or a lot of people uh, ask me that. So, really handy. I've got here a drawer with my apps I use really every day. So, quick share uh, is for uploading pictures. Uh, screen flow is how I make my videos. Uh, Tweety, Twitter, Client, Skype, 
and Firefox, so my browser, of course. Uh, then my main documents, I've got them here, and I can put, uh, I mean, my main folders, which I have actually on my dock. If I show up my icons, I have those things here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so that's why I hide my icons, because I still have them in my drawers, and it's really easy. So now, uh, just to show you a quick example of how handy the drawers are, uh, the thing is, is, even when you are in the application, if, and if you know where they are, you can just slide to the side where they are, and boom, you just get them. Uh, if you look Carefully, you probably don't see this, but uh, you do have a uh, like very, very small line here just to show you there's a drawer. You can also remove that in preferences. So yeah, everything, again, uh, options for really everything. So um, one feature I would like to have, which is not, uh, which probably will uh, come in future versions, is that you can actually set up a doc for each folder. So actually, if you save it in that folder, it's automatically going to show up in that doc. I think they are already a few people is going to request that, so I hope it's coming that in the future videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it's not too long. Uh, actually, it was quite long. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. By the way, the wallpaper will be in the description as usual. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.